on day one of NBX with third place finisher Kerry Warner. Uh, Steven had a good start and was he was, I think he was looking to make things happen early. And uh, so him and Curtis kind of took control of the front the first two laps. And it's kind of just struggling on these longer power straights, uh, like a gap would open and those guys would stay on it at the front. And I was just kind of struggling to hold the wheel and claw myself back. So after two laps, those guys kind of got away from me and I was riding by myself for a lap or two. Then. Spencer Petrov of Cannondale came up and we we kind of started working together and I was like the whole time I was thinking we can't let a Cannondale podium happen so yeah I don't know it was, it was really interesting there wasn't a, a good spot on course to really lay it down and just like kind of try to get away the, a lot all the straights were kind of punctuated by these tight technical sections and uh, yeah, it wasn't really conducive to like just putting power. All the power sections were really long straights. And so, you know, if you had a, like a bike length or two, you could just claw your way back onto it if you if you had the, the oomph. So Spencer and I ended up going to the line together and luckily I got him, so. So you guys just came right out of the final turn and it came down to that final sprint there on the pavement? Yeah, uh, pre-riding the course, I kind of knew that coming out of pit two, there was a big, a big straight that paralleled the uh, the start finish straight and so I knew that coming into uh, coming into the finish you wanted to be in the front and I knew to do that you had to come out of pit two just smoking so I did that and then Spencer actually came inside of me onto the final corner uh, and had me by half a bike length or so but uh, I was able to get on top of it and uh, like hold him off. So. of NBX with Curtis Waite, our second place finisher for the Elite Men. Curtis, an exciting day out there between you and Stephen Hyde. Um, it really looked like you guys just drove the pace from the get-go, um, trying to get rid of the rest of the field as quick as you could. Um, take me through what happened out there and um, how things played out between you and Hyde. Yeah, uh, so this is Hyde's first race back. He's pretty motivated, uh, just hanging out with him in the trailer. He's pretty excited to be back in the scene. Um, you know, it's a C1 in New England. I was pretty excited. Uh, last uh, weekend of the Victoria Series, so it's, there was a lot of motivation going around. Um, he and I were feeling good, uh, driving the pace early, uh, taking poles, just being smooth and sharp. And uh, yeah, I think the difference was made with the 
he started to stretch it out, probably two and a half laps to go. Uh, I came back to him. Uh, I tried to get in front of him before the sand pit, but he took back the lead before and, uh, yeah, just opened up the gap slowly. So were you guys still working together till that point until he started to kind of test the waters and stretch the rubber band a little bit on you? We were, yeah, but I, I think in working together, we uh, were able to figure out where each other was strongest. Um, he was able to carry speed really well through the technical sections, and uh, I think I, I was that forced me to accelerate just a little bit harder here and there, which added up over the course of the race. But um, yeah, I, he's back, he's riding well, and uh, yeah, we'll make tomorrow interesting. MBX with day one winner Stephen Hyde. Hi. Steven, amazing day out there. You really just went out from the start. Um, talk to me about the decision and the effort of really leading it out early and going from the gun there, um, and then how the race played out for you today. Uh, man, there was a lot of nervous energy for me today, and um, this is my first race back in uh, four weeks, I think. And before that, I did two race weekends, and there was six weeks off with another injury. So, um, I, you know, it's it's. I've had a lot of uh, anxiety about racing and getting back to it, and I was so excited today. And um, I knew I needed to lead on this race. There are some really heavy pedaling sections where you can draft, but uh, there's so many sections to make little tiny mistakes, and uh, you know, a lot of flowy sections. The sand, you know, you always want to be first going into something like that. Yeah, so that's just kind of how it played out. I just wanted to ride the front, and I honestly had no idea uh, where my fitness is at because I, I haven't been racing, and everyone else has. And that always puts a big question mark in your head. So how yeah. did it feel towards the end there? It looked like you were starting to put some digs into Curtis before you finally went, went and made your move. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely testing the waters a bit. I mean, I had some uh, a little bit of cramping going on in my leg, so I just haven't had the intensity. Haven't been able to get behind the scooter because of the weather. Uh, I've been trapped in the basement for a lot of weeks, and uh, I've done a few rides off-road this in the last couple of weeks, so it feels good to feel fresh on that. Um, Curtis really pushed me hard. Curtis pushed me very, 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 very hard in the beginning, and I needed that. He was my... Uh, it was my human scooter today, so um, <laughs> I was happy to be able to continue off when he started to pop a bit. And um, you know, I think when he gets that uh, that extra ten minutes in him, he's going to be pretty unreal. And yeah. what did you think of the course out there today? It's been a bit since we've seen you at NBX. Uh, what did you think of the, some of the sections out there? I've, I, I've been looking forward to coming back to this race for so long. 2012 was the last and only time I've raced it. I came in 2013 as a mechanic for Jam. Um, I had a knee injury then, and. Um, yeah, I was 11th and 12th in 2012. <laughs> so no, no, no points. That was my, my, uh, my year to get some points. So I've, uh, I've really looked forward to getting back here ever since then. This is absolutely one of my favorite courses, uh, not just in New England but in the world. I mean, this is really one of my favorite courses. So um, I couldn't be happier to take the. Okay. Okay. 